Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, the apostle who was chosen to replace Judas Iscariot. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. assign St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, this scripture had to be, to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry, for it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate, and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus, came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat as the leaders of the people. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat as the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel today, Jesus tells us that if we follow his commandments, we will remain in his love. And if we remain in his love, our joy will be complete. In fact, he says that his joy will be our joy. What greater blessing could we ask for than to be united to the Lord, that we could actually have his joy? The question really is, what exactly are his commandments? And that's what the disciples have to discern early on. If we look to the church, then we know that we are following the commandments of the Lord. If we live according to the commandments of the Lord, then we'll be filled with joy. The kind of the opposite of what our world teaches us. Our world teaches that if we're going to find joy, they would suggest that it is in all kinds of selfish and sinful pursuits. The world says it's going to be found in money. It's going to be found in pleasure. It's going to be found in all material things. All of these things go on and on. But none of it has ever made anybody truly happy. There might be some little sense of joy, but there really is no deep joy, no lasting joy. 
and certainly not the joy of Jesus Christ. He wants our joy to be complete. He doesn't want it to be a little bit. He wants it to be the fullness. He wants it to be his own joy. His joy is being in union with God and in, the, in being in union with us. And so our joy will be in union with him. That means that we have to do his will. And we know his will because the church is Jesus Christ. If we're in union with the church and doing what the church has asked, then we know that we're in union with Christ. When we're in union with Christ, united in prayer, united in the way we live our lives, there will be a joy that we have never, ever known, a deep, profound joy, because Jesus Christ will be in our hearts, along with the Father and the Holy Spirit. That will be a joy that no one can take from us. That was what he promised, that what we need to look at. And we need to look at our own lives to ask, am I living my life truly in conformity with Jesus Christ, following his command, which is love? When St. Augustine says, love and then do what you will, because love does no wrong to the neighbor. If we truly love, which means to seek what is truly the best for the other person, we'll never sin. And we can look at the saints. In our own day, we all know Mother Teresa, for instance. We can look at the joy that she always had because she was always in union with, with Christ. She always lived her life in perfect conformity with the Lord. And she was always filled with joy. That could be ours as well. It didn't matter what kind of hardships God asked of her. It didn't matter what she had to do. It was always joy because it was the joy of Christ. Her joy was complete. The same is the promise made of all of us. If we're willing to pray, if we're willing to live our lives in conformity with Christ, which is to love God and love our neighbor, then his joy will be in us. And our joy will be complete. The Lord calls us to himself. With faith and trust, let us bring our petitions before him. For the church, may the Lord raise up saints to lead us all to holiness and faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the world, may the grace of the Lord transform hearts to see the dignity of every person and the sanctity of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who labor in faith is known only to the Lord. May God strengthen and sustain them, and may St. Matthias intercede for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Holy Spirit give each of us the grace to fully answer our particular call to holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering in the current outbreak of sickness, that they might be healed and for the happy repose of all who have died from the sickness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Ferris George, may the Lord welcome them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you know our hearts, and you hear our prayers. Grant what we ask according to your holy will, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you've appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Felipe, our Bishop, our Bishop Emeritus Victor, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, 
and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them <coughs> as ones who are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant, Ferris George Sr., and all the faithful departed who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the power of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Be healed. Thank you. 
us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today at 11 a.m. is the Chrism Mass. Please keep uh, pray for our bishop, Felipe Esteves, our presbyter, and all the dioceses in a special way today. Um, obviously, it's closed to the public, but it'll be on Facebook. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Matthias. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.